Good morning. How can we turn to God? We're at Jeremiah chapter 2, verses 29 to 32 today. Why will you plead with me? You all have transgressed against me, says the Lord. In vain I have chastened your children. They received no correction. Your sword has devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O generation, see the word of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness to Israel or a land of darkness? Why do my people say, we are lords, we will come no more to you? Can a virgin forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. God's people seek his favor, but he's not receiving them. He's given them correction. They've not received it. Our fate as God's people is tied, completely tied in connection with him. He, we can forget him, I guess, but, but he can never forget us. So he's always working to bring us back. He is very persistent. Praise, praise be to his name. He has a very deep toolbox of means by which to come and try to bring us back. And in the case of Judah here, he's going to have to reach really deep into that toolbox. And he's going to reach in. And we're going to see what happens. There's an interesting line here. It says that your sword has devoured your prophets. And of course, uh, back before this time, uh, not, not that far before, Isaiah had actually been killed by King Manasseh. The prophets of God, they are not always well received. Here's a chart here. I'm going to put it, if you take it from the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 4, uh, I want you to notice here a list of the kings of Judah and the kings of Israel, the prophets and different events. And, and as you look down that page, you'll see just a little bit of the chronology that roughly we think we're looking at here. God has uh, not forgotten his people, but you'll see, but you'll see Isaiah slain there. Uh, before the time of Jeremiah. You know, killing a prophet is, is a lot like trying to kill God because the prophet is the prophet is God's mouthpiece. The prophet speaks for God. So when you try to kill the prophet, you're, you're trying to close God's mouth. People turn away from God because they're self-serving, but the prophet serves, serves God and speaks on his behalf to the people. You know, the book of Ecclesiastes says that we all have madness in our hearts. Not because God designed us that way, but of course because Adam and Eve chose to disobey God and they fell. And so we all receive sort of a tangled, tangled uh, relation between our, our will, our mind, our, our rational component, our emotional parts. But even so, God is going to come and work for us and try to reach us anyway. So God wants us to come back to him, and the question is, how do we come back? And although we're, we're not going to address it here, it's coming. we're going to start getting some pieces of that coming up. But I just want us to know that it's coming as we look at these strong words. Again, God is still filling out the charges against his people. And so, you know, God can heal his people if they're willing. But many times we say, oh, sure, I'm willing. But God wants to come a lot deeper than we have realized. We have to open up a little bit more so that God can go deep and get all the problem. Let's pray to be helped to become willing. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we're looking at the prophet Jeremiah, and you know, you and I both know, Lord, there's uh, dealing here with some extreme stubbornness. Uh, Lord, we pray that that certainly, we hope that won't be the case. It's not the case in our own hearts. Draw our hearts close to you, Lord. Do whatever it takes. Reach deep in your toolbox if that's what it takes. Help us to draw towards your kingdom, Lord. Please, you, may your Holy Spirit, may your different means bring us to repentance and show us a pathway home. We know you want us in the kingdom, Lord. We just, we just have to let you come and do a stronger work. Please, Lord, do so. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Anything is possible with God if we're willing to cooperate with this plan. Lord, may the Lord God help us to be, become willing. God be with you today.